So there's a lot of apprehension around how many jobs would be lost because of AI and what would be the impact of AI on salaries, wages, etc. Now we have some solid data around which we can base our discussion. So let's dive into some concrete data as to how AI is now actually affecting the world of jobs and wages. Welcome to Billion Homes. This is Mentor Sandy. Let's begin our work for today. Data on jobs and wages in the AI world 2026. So I came across some fantastic data authentically compiled pertaining to what kind of diffusion is leading to what kind of impact in the jobs market. So let's begin learning. And before that, a simple request. If you have liked the work, please do subscribe to the channel and like and share the video and explore the join option as well. We have fantastic membership level exclusive videos. Click the join button and check out the various levels. I'm sure you'll find something of interest. Thank you so much. AI integration is reshaping jobs and wages. So this is a stats guru publication by Business Standard, which has compiled some fantastic data from around the world and especially South Asia. So now we find there are six major things that stats guru is willing to share with us. And what exactly are these six things? Let's dive into these six one by one. The very first thing that Stats Guru tells us is number of layoffs in tech globally has been showing a downward trend. So that's an interesting trend compared to a rather counterintuitive to the common thing that AI is leading to massive bloodbath in the jobs market. So the number of employees and the number of companies, as you can see, which um, have been involved in layoffs has steadily gone down. So maybe the over recruitment during the COVID and laying off of the over recruited people, that effect is now reducing a lot. Although companies have kind of made it an excuse that AI is leading to retrenchment. But in many cases, AI is not the key factor for retrenching people, at least not in bulk, unless you are an IT company where it is understood how AI can actually take away certain entry level jobs. But for many other sectors, which are not directly technology sectors, AI has actually become a good excuse for people when they are doing some or planning some large retrenchment. So that is the first trend. Second, AI exposure broadens the sectoral impact of job cuts. Top 10 industries by the share of employees laid off globally. So as you can see, hardware, retail, consumer, sales, HR, transport, energy, finance, data. If a direct link can be established, and the only way a direct link can be established if the company officially says, that we have laid off because of AI. And how true is the company being about it? That is an open question. But AI has affected everyone. Absolutely right. Because AI being data driven and data being the basic fuel of all the departments now. So AI affects all the departments. So that was only anticipated. The third major learning that Stats Guru has for us, India leads global AI hiring search. So Companies in India realize that they cannot afford to fall behind. Already, India has not had a very leadership kind of a role in AI model building, AI fundamental innovation, AI research. It's basically either America or China. India is a huge consumer market and India is building its own domestic suited uh, models like the Indic language models or the uh, SLMs or other things. But we are not there in the foundation model, Lee Grace at all. So India leads global AI hiring search in that background is a very, very interesting trend. And a lot of people can find this as a very optimistic data point that yes, at least in AI, there would be great opportunities. And if you are serious, you are a young person, 18 and above, just in the college or just having passed out and you have entered the world of work. So anyone from 18 to 35, this is the phase where you should learn, learn and learn about AI as much as you can. In case you would want to try out our options on Billion Homes Academy, excellent courses are available. Hundreds are taking full advantage of it. Go ahead, check it out. Link is in the comments. India leads global AI hiring search. And this is basis linked in data Stanford AI index report. So as you can see, India, Brazil, Saudi, Slovenia, Romania remain the top five in terms of percentage of total hiring through uh, LinkedIn, what was AI share? So that is actually a significant data point. 
AI exposure is closely linked to wage growth. The more AI you know practically, the more wage growth you can expect. So this is actually expected only. This There is nothing new. But the numbers are bearing it out now. And that is why I said that learn AI as much as you can from as many sources as you can and keep adding significant skills to your resume and that makes you more uh, employment worthy with every passing. The best thing about AI is that there is no age limit to learn it. Someone who is 65 and has seen 30, 40 years of great corporate career or some entrepreneurship career, you can start right now learning AI. There is absolutely no age. Yes, there would be certain education background related constraints here or there, but at least basic AI is there for everyone. So most exposed to quartile gave 16.7 as the result in terms of wage growth because of AI exposure. India among the global leaders in AI skill penetration. And this means US, India, UK, Germany, Brazil, Canada, France, Spain, Indonesia, top 50 skills for the occupation of AI engineer. They were calculated basis the weighted frequency with which they appear in LinkedIn member profile. So the LinkedIn database was a crucial data point here. And India became one of the global leaders in AI skill penetration, multiples of global average. And finally, the sad part for India, India is losing more AI talent than it is gaining. And that means that there is a talent outflow from India, net flows, total arrivals, minus departures within the given. So net AI talent migration per 10,000 LinkedIn members. And the reason we are repeatedly talking about LinkedIn is it remains one of the biggest job sites. It remains one of the biggest talent hunt sites. And so the numbers tend to be rather interesting. Although LinkedIn in itself, one can have different perceptions about how useful the site is, but the numbers may actually give you some real trends. So these are some of the top learnings here. So can we summarize these learnings? And what has been your understanding of the jobs and wages market and impact because of AI? Please share in the comments. It would be lovely to learn from you. If you share something, everyone here on the channel learns from you. So go ahead and tell us if you're a working professional, what has been your experience? If you're an entrepreneur, what is your plan about AI? Let us know. So if we can summarize everything that we saw uh, in a different format, this is here. Tech layoffs are declining globally. So perhaps the worst is uh, behind us. AI exposure broadens job cuts across sectors. Absolutely, because AI is applicable across sectors. What can one do about it? India leads the global AI hiring surge, which is very, very good news for Indians, especially aspiring professionals and AI professionals. AI exposure directly leads to wage growth and India losing more AI talent than it gains. So at a sovereign level, this is a right, uh, slightly worrisome thing. When I say at a sovereign level, what I mean is the sovereign strategic independence of a country as measured from the lens of AI. In the field of AI, either you are innovating on the foundational model so that the whole world actually comes to you. So here, India couldn't do it. So all the major foundation models came to India and made the free tiers available to literally tens of millions of people or hundreds of millions. So they are using India as a test bed and they are stress testing their own systems. And this is a loss of digital sovereignty. It's a very serious situation, but then that's how it is. The only way out is you train your own models and that requires long-term commitment from top companies. Sadly, in India, not a single top company is interested in building a foundation model. They would have done it otherwise. India losing more AI talent. And so something has to be done to retain this talent so that they find it interesting and worthwhile to stay back in India and build it. Interestingly, it was Ashish Vaswani, an Indian origin person who created the transformer model while he was a Google employee in 2017, which revolutionized LLMs, chatbots, and brought the AI revolution as we know it. In the foundation, you have an Indian man who actually built it, but then not many Indians may have even heard the name. And he didn't do it in India. He didn't have that opportunity here. So this is the time to change all that. And over the next 10 years, the governments and policymakers should very seriously look at that. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case right now. Let's hope for the best in the future. As we just saw, the more skills in AI you have, the better is your career prospect and wage growth. My courses on Billion Homes Academy are designed exactly to do that. AI for beginners, non-technical professionals and strategists. Go ahead, check out the academy. There are wonderful courses waiting for you from beginner level right up to the CXO level. And while you're here, make sure you subscribe to the AI newsletter as well. So how did you find the session? Do let us know. All your feedback is welcome. 
data always takes apart the hype and all the nonsense and it gives you a very cold look at what is happening a cold and a much needed look what other topics would you want me to cover in this playlist or some other playlist your suggestions in the comment this is mentor sandy bringing you ai for real impact Thank you.